Hey everyone, Tara here from Archie English. And in today's video, I wanted to talk about building confidence. So confidence is something that has come up a lot this week in some of my student discussions and in some of the discussions that I've been having with some other people. And I wanted to give you my three tips for building confidence if English is your second language. So my number one top tip would be that if you want to build your confidence, you need to put yourself in a situation where you need to practice delivering certain things. So speaking about certain things. So say, for example, you need to do a client presentation or you need to sit down and speak with an engineer. Put yourself in a situation where you can practice doing that with somebody. So maybe it's a mentor, maybe it's someone that you work with, or maybe it's just your partner at home where you can speak about these things and and talk about what you need to talk about. The more you talk and and talk about the things that are relevant, the more you hear what you need to say and you think, oh, maybe I shouldn't say it like that or it might be better if I say it like this. And also, I guess, if you want feedback in this situation, you can ask the person to give you some feedback on certain things. But I, th I think too, it's also important to remember that when you're practicing, you don't always have to have feedback. It can just be about practicing for the sake of building your confidence. My second piece of advice would be to try to read out loud. So reading out loud helps you to hear yourself speaking and it also helps you to recognize when you need to slow down and when you need to pronounce words in a certain way. And it also helps you to see what words you might have difficulty with pronouncing or what phrases and, and sentences that you might have difficulty pronouncing. So I'm going to plug a book that I highly recommend to a lot of my students and it's called 101 Things That I Didn't Learn in Architecture School and it's by Sarah Lebner, who is an architect in Australia. Now this book is great. It's a small book, a short book. And what you could do is just take one of the articles out of this book. Each of the different topics is on one page and read the, the article out loud to yourself as you're walking around the house or, or just uh, while you're sitting on the couch. And you can hear yourself, you can hear the pronunciation of certain words, and then you can hear what things that you might have some trouble with or some difficulties with. So not only will you be thinking about the way that you're pronouncing things and building your confidence around speaking, but you'll also be learning some really important things. So I recommend this book or any short book, any article, anything like that. And my third piece of advice would be, don't be afraid to ask for help. So I think very often we can be really self-conscious about asking for help because we feel like by asking for help we are a failure or we're not good enough but I think the more that you ask people for help the more that you show your vulnerabilities the more people will be willing to help you and to show that to show that there are things that you can do and I think that if you go to somebody and you ask for help and they're not willing to help you then that's a real shame. So put yourself out there, ask for help as much as possible. And hopefully the more that you ask for help, the more you put yourself in this situation where you know that it's okay to ask for help. I hope those three tips were useful and that you can action those tips straight away and have a go. Thanks for listening and I'll see you again in my next video. Catch you later.